Does Tim Cook even use Apple Vision Pro? The rhythmic VR game that's breaking barriers. A classic title gets a terrifying VR remake and a release date. Plus, stay tuned for an update on our Quest Pro giveaway. And remember that timestamps are linked in the description below so that you can watch what you want and skip what you don't. Now get ready for a mind-bending trip into the world of spatial computing because Smash Drums, the rhythmic drumming game, is set to receive an exclusive mixed reality update titled Smashed Reality, available on the Quest platform. Launched almost two years ago, Smash Drums has received various updates, including the introduction of classic mode and new songs. Now, Smash Reality utilizes Quest scene model capture tools to introduce dynamically destructible stages. Smash Drums enthusiasts can anticipate the arrival of the Smash Reality Mixed Reality update in the upcoming months. Toast Interactive, the developers behind Richie's Plank experience, have introduced their latest VR platformer, Max Mustard. Unveiled during Gamescom 2023, Max Mustard presents a vibrant VR platforming experience, distinct from No More Rainbows, and more in line with Astrobot Rescue Mission and Moss. Players manipulate the environment from an aerial perspective, aiding Max Mustard's progression through the game. Max Mustard is an adventure centered on reuniting endearing mud pups with their parents. A twist unfolds as players face an unexpected dilemma when a friend's secret is revealed. The game targets an early release across VR platforms in the upcoming year. The title boasts 40 plus levels, four bosses, and an anticipated playtime exceeding four hours. Vertigo Games has officially announced that the seventh guest VR, a remake of the classic CD-ROM horror title, Originally released in 1993, the point-and-click game utilized live-action clips and pre-rendered 3D graphics to unveil the eerie tale of the haunted staff mansion. Vertigo Games unveiled an all-new trailer during the pre-show for the opening night live presentation preceding Gamescom 2023's kickoff. This trailer provided a glimpse of the game's spectral apparitions, expertly brought to life in VR through volumetric video capture. The story trailer showcased the remarkable achievements of volumetric capture, capturing the intense atmosphere as players observe characters delving into the mansion's mysterious occurrences and their unsettling reasons for being there. Vertigo has confirmed a simultaneous release for PSVR 2, ensuring the game's availability on three VR platforms just in time for Halloween this year, on October 19th. An unofficial unboxing video of the MetaQuest 3 appeared anonymously on Reddit. This has almost become a familiar trend with Meta's headset launches. Last year, the Quest Pro faced a similar fate as its design and packaging were revealed in an unofficial unboxing video posted by a hotel worker who claimed to have stumbled upon one. The Quest 3 packaging showcased in the video bears a striking resemblance to that of the Quest 2. However, there's a noticeable difference. The box's size is considerably smaller. This is attributed to the headset's sleeker design and the absence of rings on the new Touch Plus controllers. The unboxing video showcases the headset, controllers, a small box, likely housing AA batteries, and informative leaflets. While Meta officially unveiled Quest 3 in early June, not all of the headset specifications and features have been confirmed. Details such as exact resolution, refresh rate, RAM, and even higher storage tiers remain unverified. However, the official statements highlight significant improvements, including a visor 40% thinner due to pancake lenses, over twice the GPU power, dual color cameras, and a depth sensor for immersive mixed reality experiences. The base model boasting 128 gigabytes of storage is priced at $500. A noteworthy detail spotted in the unboxing is an instructional white cardboard piece attached to the headset. This hints a feature allowing users to adjust the depth of the facial interface, moving the lenses farther from the eyes. Reports have recently surfaced regarding an Apple Vision Pro boasting a substantial full terabyte of storage. According to French tech news site iPhoneSoft, an individual who experienced the Vision Pro at one of Apple's public developer labs spotted the terabyte storage capacity listed within the device's settings app. While Apple hasn't formally disclosed the available storage options for the Vision Pro, the statement that the headset will start at $3,500 strongly hints at multiple storage tiers, aligning with Apple's approach for products like the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. The terabyte model would dwarf the storage offerings of Meta's current highest capacity models, the 256 gigabyte Quest 2 model and Quest Pro, along with ByteDance's 250 
256 gigabyte Pico 4 model. Meta has confirmed its intentions to release a Quest 3 model with higher storage in addition to the $500 base model with 128 gigabyte storage, which we all know is not enough. As the narrative unfolds, Apple's Vision Pro takes center stage, promising an intriguing expansion in storage capabilities for the VR realm. In a recent quarterly earnings call, Apple CEO Tim Cook shared his personal engagement with the Vision Pro. He expressed his delight in introducing the groundbreaking Apple Vision Pro at WWDC this past June, describing it as a marvel of engineering and the most personal electronic device ever created. The Apple CEO revisited the topic of Vision Pro during the Q&A session of the call. According to Tim Cook, we are internally thrilled and everyone who has experienced the demos has been astounded. Whether it's the press, analysts, or developers, we are now dispatching units to the developer community for app development and anticipate an early next year launch. Time for a quick update on our Quest Pro giveaway. So our goal is 4,000 watch hours. In fact, we're nearly halfway there. We started at roughly 500 hours, and now I am so excited to report that we are at 1,822.1 hours. You guys are the reason that we are doing this, so thank you, thank you, thank you. But let's talk about the exciting part, because as we edge closer to that 4,000 hour target, we're getting ready to send this Quest Pro to one of you guys out there. And that is not all, because reaching this goal means that I'm gonna be able to pump out so much more content for you guys on a regular basis. So really, it's a win-win situation. So hit that like button, share this update, and subscribe if you haven't already.